Hello everyone, how are you all doing? This is the second part of the legendary and greatest army general of India. That is Sam Manaksha. It's not only in war did he show courage, but also dealing with army affairs. He was fearless. Any man who is upright and clear in his mind always gets into trouble with politicians. During a period, General Timmaya was the chief of army staff and Krishna Menon was the defense minister. During a visit to Manaksha's division, Menon asked him what he thought of uh, Timmaya. The words of Manaksha went something like this. Mr. Minister, I am not allowed to think about him. He is my chief. Tomorrow you will be asking my subordinate brigadiers and colonels what they think of me. It's the surest way to ruin the discipline of the army. Don't do it in future. Yes, he sort of ordered the minister not to do it in the future. It is common even now for politicians to interfere in army or defense department. They will promote someone close to them. They may destroy the career of defense personnel if they don't obey their demands. Manaksha was against it. It was alleged that Manaksha made derogatory comments about the interference of political leadership in the administration of the army. This led him to be marked as anti-national. India was defeated in the Indochina war. Sam Manaksha was just five days into his command. At that time, Nehru visited the headquarters with his daughter Indra Gandhi and the chief of army staff. They found that the troops advancing ahead for a fight. Nehru stated that he did not want any more men to die. The chief of staff assured him that he would get the orders to withdraw the advance of our soldiers. Manaksha was irritated and said that he should be allowed to command his troops the way he wished. Indra Gandhi intervened and told Manaksha to go ahead. In the 1971, the Indo-Pakistani war started. India decided to assist in the formation of the new nation of Bangladesh. There was immense pressure from the cabinet to immediately go to war, but he refused to be rushed into a war with Pakistan in 1971. During a cabinet meeting, the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi asked Manikshav if he was prepared to go to war with Pakistan. He said right now the forces and equipment are spread widely. The war cannot start immediately. But if you rush and put pressure on me, you can have my resignation. Gandhi refused the resignation and instead sought his advice. He said he could guarantee victory if she would allow him to handle the war on his own terms and set a date for it. Gandhi agreed. Everybody now knows about the outcome. Following the strategy planned by Manekshav, India started training and equipping the Mukti Bahini, a local militia group of Bengali nationalists. About 30,000 of regular Bangladeshi troops were trained. and 75000 durilas were trained and equipped with arms and ammunition these forces were used to harass the pakistani army stationed in east pakistan the war started officially on 3rd december 1971 when a pakistani aircraft bombed indian air force bases in the western part of the country the army headquarters under manikshav's leadership formulated the following strategy it focused on the direction of the attack The attack started in the west, east, north and northeast. The following day, the navy and the air force also initiated full-scale operations on both eastern and western fronts. As the war progressed, Pakistan could not manage the meticulous planning of Manikshav and they kept on losing in all fights. India captured most of the advantageous positions and isolated the Pakistani forces. Then Pakistan started to surrender or withdraw. The UN Security Council assembled on 4th December 1971 to discuss the situation. After lengthy discussions, the United States put forward a resolution for immediate ceasefire and withdrawal of troops. Majority of the members supported it. But the then Soviet Union vetoed it twice. 
then because of Pakistani atrocities against Bengalis, the United Kingdom and France abstained. Can you now connect why India abstained from voting against Russia in the Ukraine war? In this context watch my video about why India abstained from voting against Russia in the ongoing Russian-Ukraine war. Manaksha was concerned about maintaining discipline after the war. He issued strict instructions against looting and rape and stressed the need to respect and stay away from women. As a result, cases of looting and rape were negligible. In addressing his troop on, on the matter, Manaksha was quoted as saying, When you see a Begum, that is a Muslim woman, Keep your hands in your pockets and think of Sam Manaksha. The war was for 12 days and saw 94,000 Pakistani soldiers taken as prisoners. It ended with unconditional surrender of Pakistan's eastern half and resulted in the birth of Bangladesh as a new nation. After the war, Manaksha became known for his compassion towards the prisoners of war. His assistant Singh later said that in some cases he met them personally and talked to them privately with just his assistant by his side. He even shared tea with prisoners. He wasn't afraid that some Pakistani prisoner might attack him. He ensured that they were all treated by the Indian army in a very good manner. He made provisions for them to be supplied with the copies of the Quran. He even allowed them to celebrate festivals and receive letter, letters and parcels from their loved ones. Every legend passes away at some time. It is always a sad news. Manaksha died of complications from pneumonia at the military hospital in Wellington, Tamil Nadu on 27 June 2008 at the age of 94. Even in his last day, he was always positive and cheerful. According to those who were there during his last days, his last words were, I am okay. Annually on 16th December, Vijay Divas is celebrated in memory of the victory of India over Pakistan achieved under Manaksha's leadership in 1971. His quotes were also very famous. I would like to end the video with one of his. He once said that you should have to fight and fight to win. There is no roof for losers. If you lose, don't come back. You will have disgraced the country and country won't accept you. I hope that now you know better about the great man. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Please like, comment and subscribe. Please also share it widely among your friends and relatives. Thanks once again. Take care. Bye bye.